the nerdso.com free computer help desk. Dun dun! Welcome to the nerdso.com's free computer help desk. I'm your host, Henry Kroll. I might not be a supermodel, but I have 20 years data recovery and computer repair experience, and I know 16 computer languages fluently. I'll be your cyber surlock, your digital detective, your internet investigator. Ask me anything, and I'll try to answer your questions free of charge, as many as I can, anyway, in between work and school. What I've got here is a customer's computer that uh, they brought in, and uh, none of the CD-ROMs will boot. We tried replacing the drive with um, a couple other drives, and they won't boot a CD either. And uh, it appears to be a problem with this motherboard. This is a PCI Express 2.0. Um, this is the TA790GX A2 Plus motherboard from Biostar. And uh, anyway, there seems to be some kind of a problem where it just will not boot any kind of a tappy device or CD ROM. So, what we're going to do is, uh, well, we could, we could put Windows, uh, the Windows install disk, onto a USB stick and install that way. But I don't feel like formatting my USB stick. So what I'm going to do is take this hard drive out and put it in my other machine and then install Windows part way on there and then take the uh, hard drive back and, and finish the install over here. So we're just going to unplug this hard drive. going to unplug all the hard drives in my system. I'm going to unplug it first. Unplug the power. Now I've already touched the case, you see, so I don't, uh, I don't shock it with static electricity because that would be bad. Order these went here. Okay. Bottom drive. You just unplug all the existing drives and uh, we'll hook up one of these to the to the uh, existing hard drive here. That's hooked up. We'll just set it aside. <coughs> and we'll install. Well, the Windows disk is already in there. So all we have to do is uh, fire it up. <coughs> Plug it back in. Okay, we have a boot screen. It looks like the CD ROM is working. And we're installing. What I've got here is a customer's com and what I'm doing here is multitasking. While I'm troubleshooting their DVD drive and their motherboard, I'm also installing Windows Vista on their hard drives using my computer. Now ordinarily this would cause problems with activation and stuff, so after the second reboot, I've got to remember to take their hard drive out and put it back in the original machine. If done right, this will save a lot of time, and the customer will be happy. <laughs>